Doctors, your time starts now. Hi, my name is Dr. Buck. May I ask who I'm speaking with today? Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, my name is Brad Miller. Brad Miller, how can I help you out today? Um, my child has a fever. Your child has a fever, and what's the name of your child? Uh, Junior Miller. Junior. Okay, and how old is Junior? Uh, he'll be one in a couple of months. Okay, one years old. And when did his fever begin? Uh, it started yesterday morning. Okay. His fever began yesterday morning. Yeah. And how did you measure the temperature? Uh, using a thermometer on, on the forehead. Okay. And do you remember what that reading was? Uh, yeah, it was 100. 100 degrees. Okay. Yeah. And did you just take that one measurement or have you taken a couple measurements? I mean, I took a couple of, I took them, I took it a couple of times, but it was pretty much staying 100. Okay, so it stayed the same at 100? Yes, sir. Okay. And can you tell me, has Junior been sick at all recently? Like, has he had a runny nose or a cough? Uh, no runny nose, but he has had a cough. <clears throat> okay, no runny nose, but cough. And did the cough begin yesterday? Yes. Okay. Have you noticed any change in the number of wet diapers? Uh, no, I haven't. Any foul smell from the diapers or any change in the color of urine? No. Okay, and see, is he any change in the number of dirty diapers? Is he passing stool regularly? Yes, he is. Okay. Okay. Any change in the color of the stool? Uh, no. And does he pull at his ear at all? None. Okay, is there any discharge from the ear? No. Is there a rash anywhere on his body? No. Okay, and has he had any seizures recently, like any jerky movements of his body? Uh, no jerky moments or no seizures. Okay, and can you tell me, Brad, does your son have any prior medical conditions diagnosed by a doctor? Uh, no. And is he allergic to anything? No. Okay. Is he taking any medications currently? Uh, yeah, now that you mention it, uh, me, me and my wife have been giving him an aspirin. Oh, you've been giving him aspirin? Yeah. So, sir, we recommend not giving aspirin to children uh, sometimes they can have an adverse reaction. We actually recommend Tylenol. So in the future, if if Junior or if one of your other kids uh, becomes sick, uh, give them Tylenol. Oh, okay. Okay. And can you tell me, does he have any ill contacts? Like, has he been around anybody who's been sick recently? Uh, yeah, he has an older brother and a younger sister who live at home as well. And uh, they, they, weren't, they weren't feeling too well. Uh, about a week ago, they had a fever. Oh, really? Both of them had a fever? Yes. Okay. And are they all right now? Uh, yes. Okay. okay. Are there any conditions that run in the family? Uh, no. Okay. 
And do you know, was the baby born preterm or was it born after 37 weeks? Uh, after 37 weeks. He was born at 40 weeks, actually. Okay. Born at 40 weeks. And from what you know, were there any complications with the birth? None. And was it a vaginal or a C-section delivery? Uh, vaginal. Vaginal delivery? Yes. And from what you know, Brad, is he up to date on all of his immunizations? Uh, yes, he has all of his vaccinations. Great. And when was he last seen by a doctor? Uh, we had an appointment with his pediatrician one month ago. Okay, one month ago you met with his pediatrician? Yes, sir. And did he say that Junior's height and weight were normal for his age? Uh, yes, he said they were about 75th percentile for both of them. Okay, 75th percentile for height and weight? Yes. Okay, and does Junior attend daycare? Yes, he does. Great, and do you know, was anybody sick there recently? Uh, my wife had told me a few kids were sent home last week because they also had a fever. Okay, so last week there were a few kids sent home? Yes. And they had a fever? Mm-hmm. Okay. And do you know, is Junior breastfeeding or does he use formula? He uses mainly formula right now, but we're trying to transfer him to cow's milk. Okay. So mainly formula, but transitioning to cow's milk? Yes. And how has his appetite been recently? Uh, not good. He doesn't even seem interested in eating at all. Okay, so decreased appetite? Yes. And how does he look? Is he crying and fussy or is he consolable? Oh yeah, no, he's been crying a lot more than usual, man. We, uh, we tried giving him a bath and feeding him, but that didn't even seem to help. Okay. And how has he been sleeping the past few nights? Uh, not too well. I'd say last night he got about eight or nine hours of sleep, but he usually sleeps for 12 hours straight. Okay, so last night he got about eight, night, eight or nine hours, but he usually sleeps about 12 hours? Yes. All right, so Brad, I just want to tell you what I think might be going on here. Your son might have an upper respiratory tract infection. This could be viral or bacterial. If it's viral, it'll pass on its own. But if it's bacterial, we might have to give him antibiotics. So I was hoping you could bring your son into the hospital so I could see him as soon as possible. Would that work? Uh, yes. Okay, great. So I'll, I'll see your son soon then and I'll do a physical examination. And if I need to order any other tests, like some blood test or perhaps a chest x-ray, I can do that then. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, will Junior be all right? I think he should be all right, but I just want you to bring him in so I can rule out any other serious causes for his fever. Okay. Thank you so much, and I uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye. All right, let's have a brief discussion about the pediatrics case we just saw. The first thing is that there's no physical exam which can be a good thing and people are somewhat relieved that after doing two or three physical exams in a row they can take a break. But note that there are some unique questions to children that you're only going to ask during a pediatrics case. First one is birth history. Any complications at birth? Were they born at term, preterm, and was it a vaginal or c-section birth? Second thing is growth and development. You want to see were the height and weight normal for that age group. Also, are they reaching certain milestones? You can ask, are, at your last pediatric visit, were his language and growth and development normal? Another thing is immunizations. Is he up to date on vaccinations? Has he traveled anywhere, either within the United States or outside the United States? Also, only in children are you going to ask, does he go to daycare? And was anybody sick recently at daycare? Also, as with each and every case on the CS exam, or almost each and every case, there's a counseling point. For this case, the counseling point was Tylenol versus Motrin.
You want to make it brief, not a lecture. I didn't go into the details about Rye's syndrome and hepatotoxicity with uh, using aspirin or Motrin. I just said, we don't use Motrin, it's not advised in children, they can have adverse effects, and it is preferable if you use Tylenol next time. Alright, that's it. Please play the video again if you need more help or you want to see it again. Best of luck.